Some breaking news in Hong Kong, where a fire has broken out at the World Trade Center. Initial reports indicate that dozens of people are trapped inside the building and on its roof, waiting for rescue services. Among them are shoppers and restaurant goers. The 38-story building operates as a mall and office tower complex. The fire was reported around lunchtime and triggered a massive emergency response. The local government says that firefighters were battling the blaze with two water jets and we're using ladders to rescue people inside the building. Tom Grundy, editor-in-chief of Hong Kong Free Press, joins me now. Tom, what more can you tell us this hour? Well, a huge operation in this very busy shopping district of uh, Causeway Bay. More than 350, we now understand, were, were trapped. Uh, the fire broke out at around 12.37. Uh, um, inside a meter room, apparently, on the first floor of the mall, uh, where there were some renovations underway. Now, be because of the refurbishments, there was nobody uh, on those floors, but there were people uh, in restaurants and in the office uh, areas above it. Um, at least eight people, we understand, have been injured, according to a government spokesperson, and around 160 uh, thus far evacuated. Um, we, saw, we saw footage of uh, people being forced to leave smoke-filled restaurants and shoppers, diners fleeing. Also footage of people emerging on stretchers as they're rescued by uh, firefighters with extendable ladders from podiums and many of them wearing breathing equipment. But uh, large sections now of these very busy roads and thoroughfares surrounding uh, this building, 38-storey building, are now being cordoned off as uh, firefighters continue to battle this blaze. Tom, initial reports suggest that the fire broke out on the first floor. Do we know the cause of the blaze at this time? We don't, but it could be related to those refurbishments going on. Of course, it was already emptied uh, in the lower floors of, of the shops and stores. You know, it's, it's quite rare we see fires of this scale. We've seen some blazes, some fatal in, in recent months involving smaller old tenement buildings, residential or storage units, but not really uh, of this scale. So, you know, Hong Kong has, has high standards of fire safety. So certainly some questions are going to be asked. Tom Grundy, Editor-in-Chief of the Hong Kong Free Press. Thank you for your time. Thank you.